Hello everyone. We will continue the topic concept of set leaf table or the concept of sets. And in the previous video, we discussed what is the major disadvantage or drawback of TVARVC table, why we are using set leaf table or the concept of sets. We will store that data under the sets in case of set leaf table and we have three transaction ports ZS, GS01, GS02 and GS03 to create a set, to change a set and to display a set. Now we will go for same to same requirement. You know user is authorized to create a sales order about the quantity greater than which is maintained in set leaf table. And the second scenario is yes, if the user is authorized, if the user is in the list of valid user, then the user can create a sales order of more than that quantity. The same to same requirement now we will achieve through set leaf concept. So I will go to GS01 transaction code because we will create a set we store that data under the set. So I will go to GS01 transaction code. You can see the title bar is itself create set. We will create a set. Before creating the set, I will show you the demo that how we are getting the list of valid values in the F4L. Suppose. I'm giving some name to the set. Suppose I'm saying ZPM. I'm giving some table name, suppose ZORDH underscore 28. I'm showing you some demo as of now. I'm just putting end. Now, if I will go to F4 help, it will show me all the columns of this particular table which I passed. Suppose I'm selecting payment mode. I will go for OK. Now I will simply, simply click on to this F4 help. Whenever I'm clicking on to F4 help, have you seen I'm getting the list of valid values? Yes, you can go for C, you can go for D, you can go for N. So this is the main, main advantage of this set. This is the main advantage of set leaf, leaf concept. In case of TVAR VC table, there is no such provision. You can put any wrong value, nothing. Here you can see the list of valid values. You can select or you can see what are the various valid values in the system. If I will show you this table, if I will go to the, go for this particular table, ZORDH underscore 28, but the column name I passed PM, payment mode. If I will go to data element, if I will go for domain value range in that domain, we have the list of valid values and we are getting there. Yes. So this is the way how set leaf concept work. And this is the main, main advantage of this set leaf concept or the concept of sets. Now I will go for creation of two sets based upon our requirement first set for the quantity and the second set for the list of valid users. Same to same in case of TVARs, we see we created two variants, one for the quantity, one for the valid users. Here we will go for two sets, one for the quantity and one for the valid users. I will go to GS01 transaction code. Now, Suppose I'm giving some name to the set. Suppose I'm saying Z quantity. Set name, it is not mandatory that it should start with Z or Y. You can give any name. But yes, for our understanding, we should give with Z or Y. It is recommended. If you are not following, no problem at all. Now I gave the set name Z quantity. Now. Now I will give the table name. You all know our quantity is in which particular table, VBAP table. 
if i will go to vbap table this is our vbap table we refer to the column kwmeng this is our quantity column this is our quantity column suppose i will give the table name vbap now i have four types of set anyways i will not go into detail of each and every set now what is basic set because in our requirement we will go for basic set what basic set is word itself is saying basic set means basic set is used whenever you want to provide the values for a particular field what is our field our field is quantity for the quantity field we want to provide the value what the value we want to provide 1000 or 2000 so i will simply go for basic set so why basic set is used word itself is saying it is just like a basic set which is used to provide the values for a particular field whenever you want to provide a list of values for a particular field single value list of value range of value multiple values for a single field yes you can go for basic set suppose i will give the table name vbap now what is the column name from the f4 help you will be able to see the columns what is our column name kwmeng I will choose this KWMENG column. I will go for OK. Now I will simply maintain the quantity 1000.000. Now in case of quantity, there is no significance of F for help at all. Because here F for help is not working. Because it is valid also. We are maintaining the quantity. So we, are, we do not require any F for help at all. If I will show you KWMENG, data element, we have domain. If I will go for value range, nothing is there. Yes. Anyways, for KWMENG, there is no need of F for help at all. So I will simply now go for save. Before I go for save, I will show you set leaf table. Because whenever I will save the set, the entry will go to which particular table? Set leaf table. Just simply compare. Whenever you are maintaining that data, whenever you are using STVARV transaction code, entries are going to which table? TVARVC table. Same thing is here. I will show you set leaf table. I will go to SC11 transaction code. This is our set leaf table. I will display this table and description is itself values in sets. It means we can check the values of the set using this particular table. If I will go to contents. Now, if I will show you the set name, what is set name we gave Z quantity. If I will go for number of entries, zero. whenever I will save the entry will go to this table. I will go for save. It is clearly saying the set has been saved. If I will go to number of entries, one. Now the set stored into this table. If I will execute, you can see set name, Z quantity, option I. Yes, we have sign I, option EQ. And what is the value we provided? Thousand. We we'll simply, simply pick this value. Now, if I will show you this GS01 with the help of GS01, we created a particular set. Now, if we want to change, we'll simply go to GS02 transaction code. Suppose this is our set name. I will go to GS02. You can change a set. Suppose if this is our set name, I'll go for enter. Now, if you want to change the quantity, simply you can change the quantity. Yes. Because with the help of GS02, you can change a set. Suppose if I'm changing the quantity, if I will go for save, you can see quantity will reflect into the state. Now the quantity is 2000. Now, if I want to simply see the set, I will go to GS03 transaction code. 
title bar is itself display set. If I will put set name, you can see it is in read only mode because we are only only able to see the data of this particular set. So our first set is ready. Now I will go for second set. Yes, I want to go for valid users. I want to see the list of users into the F4 help. Yes, because that's why we came to this particular concept. Because in TVAR VC table, we can put any random thing. We are, cannot see the array list of values which are valid in the system. So what I will do now, I will create another set for the list of valid users. You all know you can create a set through GS01 transaction code. I will give some name. Suppose I will give Z valid underscore users. If you are not giving the name starting with Z or Y, no problem at all. But it is recommended you should give with Z or Y so you can understand that these are the sets which we created. Yes. Now we will give the table name and column name. Now in SAP, the users are getting stored into a table and it is a standard table. The standard table is USR02. If I will go for this particular table, this is a standard table. USR02. This table stores the list of valid users in the SAP system. Description is itself log on data, log on data of the users. If I will go to F4 help, if I will go to content, sorry, you can see if I will go to this F4 help of B name column, we are able to see the list of users. And you can see my ID is R Mehta. You can see R Mehta, yes. So whoever has the rights to log in into this SAP system, the all users are getting stored into this particular table USR02. And what is the column name? B name. So I will simply pass this. What is the table? USR02. Yes, I will go for basic set because I want to provide the list of values for this particular column username. So I will simply go for basic set for the field username. I'll press enter. It will show you the list of columns, list of columns of that particular table USR02 and which column I want to choose B name, username. I will go for OK. Now you will understand fully. In the F4 help itself, we will get the range or we'll get the list of values who are authorized. Yes, that's why we are using the concept of sets, the concept of set leaf table. Suppose I will go for R Mehta. In TVARVC, there is no such concept. You can put anything, but here you can see who are the, what are the well values into this particular system. Suppose I will go for another user. Previously, I put randomly arm hatha one. That's not a user at all. Yes. Suppose I will choose any ID. Yes. I will go for this. Suppose I will choose any, this M dash. Now I provided two values. These two are the list of valid users. I will go for save. Now the entry will reflect into which particular table, this set leaf table. If I will refresh, if I will now go for Z valid underscore users. If I will go for OK and I will show you, we will be able to, sorry, Z quantity. Z well underscore users. I gave this name. I'll check just Z well underscore. Okay. By mistake, I gave US R. Yes. No problem. Yes. I think by mistake, I gave this name. I will go for okay. Number of entries three. I will execute. Now you can see 
yes we have two things one and two yes because this is the serial number if i will go for gs02 transaction code you can see if i will press enter 001002 r mehta m dash i e yes so everything is getting stored now if i want to change suppose if i want to add some another user i'll simply go to this gs01 transaction code and i will add a user suppose i am adding this user so it will automatically reflect into this particular table separately. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important video. Yes. So in this video, firstly, I showed you, I took the example of a own table, Z table. I showed you the values are in that domain and we are able to see that value. Then based upon our requirement, I showed you the demo of creation of two sets. One for the quantity, one for the users. Yes, we created the set through ZS, ZGS01 transaction code. Entries reflected into set leaf table. After creation of set, if you want to change the set, you can go for GS02 transaction code. If you want to display a set, go for GS03 transaction code. Whenever you will change, entries will automatically update into this particular table. And yes, I have chosen basic set. Just remember, whenever you want to provide the values for a particular field, go for basic set. Anyways, I have not covered rest of the sets because based upon our requirement, only basic set is applicable. And I showed you, in the F4 help, we are getting everything. That's why we are using a concept of set leaf or the concept of sets. So now for the users, the standard table is US02, USR02. And we used that particular table column name B name. Now in the next video, we'll simply, simply replace this logic. We'll use this set leaf table into this particular so that's it in this video. Thank you.